welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a digital no we are not doing digital finally another traditional artwork we are doing a copic marker artwork here um, of another tea dragon now i actually decided to do another tea dragon because it has been quite a while since i have done one and today we are doing a tea dragon on the tea uh, white rose so without further ado let's just get right into it so I started off the sketch using my iPad Pro and I have been experimenting with a little bit of a different sketching style lately. Usually I will use one of the uh, sort of pencil -y brushes to sketch with, but this time I decided to try out using the airbrush. And basically what I would do is I would get a very soft and uh, sort of blurry airbrush tool and I would sort of use a very thick uh, size and this is mainly because I want to start sketching a bit looser to start off with and uh, making it really sort of large uh, with the brush size helps me to not concentrate on lines and instead concentrate on shapes and basically just get the form down before I refine it uh, and this actually helped me a lot with uh, getting my sketches a bit more loose and less stiff a little bit. <laughs> um, after that I sort of uh, dulled down the opacity just a little bit and I made that brush a little bit smaller. Of course I still kept with the same brush, it was just a little bit smaller and a little bit darker. And this is when I decided to refine the sketch more and actually concentrate a little bit more on the details. Now speaking of the details, for this dragon I really wanted it to have a, a sort of different feel. Um, I also really really wanted to uh, experiment with the pose a little bit because a lot of the time I will draw a dragon uh, either flying up in the air or I will have it sort of side on or a bit of a quarter angle so you can mainly see the whole body of the dragon and uh, see the details. Uh, really well. However, this time I wanted to experiment with a bit of a different angle and pose. I wanted to try and get it to be a more front on pose and um, just have the just have the pose of the dragon a little bit more regal or uh, is regal the right word? Just have it a little bit more fancy looking and like, you know, so I don't know how to say it but yeah um, with this front on pose I was able to have the wings out uh, side by side and I think it looks really cool and after that I actually realized that it would be very cool if I sort of pose the tail around the dragon so it sort of spirals around the dragon's body and finishes up uh, near its sort of chest uh, towards the front and I have no idea why a dragon would pose its body in this way at all but um, I actually think it looks really cool and the sort of spiral uh, pose of the dragon really does remind me of a rose, how the petals sort of spiral along each other. Now it's time to do the line art for this part and I use the same line art brush I usually do. I think it's the technical pen and I tried to concentrate on uh, the quality of the line art. So I used a few thick sort of brushes, or not brushes, it's the same brush, but a few thick sizes uh, for the main areas. And then I also used a very, very small size brush for the sort of finer details, like the uh, lines on its chest and tail. Also the veins on the leafy parts of the dragon. Now for this dragon obviously I wanted a bit of a subtle hint to the rose uh, in this so obviously I added leafy parts on the end of its tail and on its head and looking back on it now that leafy part on its head really really reminds me of Leafeon the Pokemon if you don't know what it is uh, I'll show a picture on the screen but um, I didn't realize this at first but to be honest I'm not very mad because it sort of has a Bit of a similar theme I guess. So anyways for the colouring of this dragon I knew I wanted to add a lot of white on this dragon because it is a white rose tea dragon. Now I'm not gonna say it is a white rose as in a rose with a colour white and then tea dragon. It's a white tea 
rose dragon if that makes any sense so obviously we're gonna have a large part of white on it but we're also going to have some nice dark red parts on the dragon too and this is mainly the sort of petally looking scales around its face and also the scales along its body and tail now I didn't want to add too much red to this because I wanted it to be a bit more of an accent color so I'm mainly keeping with the white-ish uh, Part for most of the dragon's body. Now as you can sort of tell the white on the dragon isn't exactly white. Now I did this because one I wanted to shade the dragon but I didn't want to use any sort of greys or at least not a lot of greys. Um, so I actually decided to use a few different colors to actually shade this dragon and um, the reason I used a few different ones is so it sort of has a bit of a pearlescent look uh, once it was finished. And the colours I used were very, very light. They were mostly uh, quad zero uh, markers, I believe rose quartz, uh, pale thistle, uh, cherry white, and I can't remember the other one, but I'm just going to say that it was a, a sort of reddish uh, colour. Anyways, so now we are on to colouring in the red parts of this dragon. And I really, really love how it's looking because I have added a bit of a dark uh, color onto this otherwise very, very light uh, color palette. And this blood red sort of makes it pop really well, especially against that really, really light color. So the colors I used for that were mainly uh, peony and also uh, crimson. And yeah, I really love the look of those two colors and how they sort of complement each other and I'm actually quite happy with the results. Now we are onto the background here and I wanted to add another color into this artwork because there was a lot of red and a lot of green and with just those two colors together, it kind of gives it a bit of a Christmassy feel and I really didn't want to have this uh, sort of Christmassy feel in this drawing. So I decided to add a bit of blue into the background, which you could argue is a Christmas Christmassy color but you know what, I'm just going to say that it helped. <laughs> so for the background, I wanted it sort of simple. However, I still wanted it to complement and uh, sort of draw your eye towards the dragon. So I did these sort of blue streaks coming out of the claw that's at the front of the dragon. Now, I want to say that uh, these sort of blue uh, streaky colors, they, they sort of represent water in a way that obviously you need water to make tea. But as well as uh, with white tea, you actually need very fresh water because if you use tap water, it kind of has a bit of a, I don't know, it changes the taste a little bit because white tea has a very, very delicate taste to it. So um, I wanted to sort of emphasize the fact that, uh, give it a little bit of a fresh water sort of feel with this sort of energy that's coming out of the dragon's paw. Now, I mainly used three different colors for this, and it was frost blue, robin's egg blue, and also holiday blue. Now, holiday blue is a bit of a greeny blue color. It's a blue green, actually, but I don't mind that because it sort of ties into the green that's on the dragon already. Now, I just tried to make sure that I... Um, I blended these really nicely, but I really wanted to keep a very slight streaky texture to it. So of course I added lots of little streaks of the colors sort of blending into each other because I really wanted to look like it was flowing and not just a very, very uh, blended <laughs> color. Now after this, I plan to add some rose petals to the dragon uh, drawing. And um, I actually decided that I didn't want to do these in marker because one, it would just be way too much work going around all of those petals, as well as I probably couldn't get a nice blend on the background. So I actually decided to go in with my Josonja's acrylic paints. Now these work really nicely because they have a matte texture, so they sort of blend in when they're dry. And um, yeah, they're quite opaque and they were pretty perfect for this drawing. And I just went in with a few very slightly different colors, just a sort of pinkish red and a very slightly lighter pinkish red. And then I just put a lot of petals around and tried to make it look like they were sort of flowing with the background. And uh, yeah, after that, I went in with my gel pen to add some highlights and to emphasize some of the scales on the dragon. And I'm very, very, very happy with how this is turning out. And I really love the, the crispness that the gel pen adds. 
Now I'm very, very happy with this sort of dragon design that I've come up with. It's actually one of my favorite uh, tea dragons to date. So yeah, here is the final results and yeah, I'm very, very happy with this and I love it so much. So here is the final results and I love this so much. I love the swirly patterns and um, the, the petals going around it and yeah I'm just very very pleased with how it's turning out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit like and subscribe if you enjoy my art and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.